my voice is sounding like I'm dying today, which I kind of am, but that's okay. Hi guys! Um, so what do you think of my earring? Show you how cool this is! I've been looking for these forever and I found them along with red pants. I can't, <laughs> I can't stick my leg up that high because they're kind of restricting, but yeah, that happened. So today is Ask Kate Tuesday. Hashtag Tuesday. Not hashtag Tuesday, hashtag Ask Kate. And a lot of you have been forgetting to hashtag Ask Kate, which I've been forgetting to say, but I kind of think that you can catch on, but that doesn't matter. So today I'm only going to be answering a few because I sound like nasty nostril lady, whatever that sounds like, me. Um, so I'm not going to be answering that many and I kind of feel under the weather. I was supposed to wake up super early this morning, woke up kind of late. It wasn't supposed to happen because I slept in and I, I didn't sleep last night so I could sleep early and then wake up early? I don't know. It sounded better in my head, but let's just get to the questions before I ramble and make this a vlog. Um, first question comes from shade underscore 98 and he asks, um, what are your top three favorite drinks? Uh, Dr. Pepper, sweet tea, and uh, hmm, what's my other one? I'm just gonna go with water that's like ice cold in the middle of the night when it tastes like it's come from God's holy garden in heaven. You know what I'm talking about? Everyone knows what I'm talking about because when you're like dying of thirst and you go get water and you don't want anything else but you just want water and you just take like this massive, I'm thirsty, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take this pin down because I mainly wanted to show you what my earring looks like. Next question comes from Matthew K 99 Kelly and he asks, where was your first date and where did you go? Well, <laughs> funny story. Um. Technically, I've never actually been on a date. I mean, with Tom, yes, all, all like, kind of, we go places, but I've never actually been, will you go out with me? Yeah, and we go out on a date. That's actually never happened to me before. I've gotten, will you be my girlfriend? And someone's asked, will you go out with me? And I was like, we're friends, and you asked a girl out yesterday. Like, you're hopping to girls that fast? But the story of my first date was I was 17, I know, first date, 17, right? And I really, really liked this guy. I mean, he knew I liked him, and he didn't like me back because I'm abstinent, so he was like, all right, I want to be involved with this, but I'll let her keep liking me. And me being a 17-year-old girl was like, I'll do anything you say, but not sex, because I'm smart. Um, and so, he, um, he had this little competition and he told me, he's like, I'm having a competition. Whoever wins this competition gets to go on a date with me. And I was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What's the competition? And he said, whoever bakes me the best cake. And I was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So this went on for like four days. And literally, he got like five cakes. Almost a week later, because we had a week for this. He's like, so you're going to make me a cake? I was like, no, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Went home, baked him a cake. And the next day in school, I was like, here, made you a cake. I was carrying it around, and my math teacher actually saw it. She goes, is that a cake? And I was like, maybe. She goes, is it for so-and-so? And I was like, maybe. She goes, oh, I can't believe you're getting into this. I was like, I just want to prove to him that I can make a cake. Because he kept telling me, oh, wait, you, you don't even know how to make a cake. You don't even know how to make a cake. Me, I love making cakes. And so that was like, fine, I'll make you a cake. Not, I don't want to go on a date with you, but I'll make you a cake so I can show you how to make a cake. So at the end of the day, I give him the cake, and I was like, here, made you a cake. And he opened it up and I forgot forks, so he just kind of picked a piece off and he ate it. It's like, this is the best cake I've ever had. I was like, out of all the other ones, and he had like two other cakes with him as well. And he's like, no, this is the best cake. And um, everyone's like, ooh, you go on a date with him. I was like, I just I just wanted to make the cake. I didn't want to go on a date, I just made the cake, because cake, yeah, I, I'm good at cakes. So um, we went on a date, <laughs> and the first date was to the movies. We saw Avatar, and um, it was so awkward. It was probably the most awkward because, like, he wanted me to, like, kind of, like, I don't know, like, recline on him, but the movie seats, has always got that awkward, like, armrest, and so it was just, it was so awkward, and the movie was three hours. Do not see that movie on a date, your first date, for three hours. That's just the worst idea, because then your parents start freaking out thinking you lied about the movie times, because you told them, oh, it's three hours, but they automatically assume, oh, nope, it's an hour and a half, when it's actually three hours. So you're going to have like five missed calls from moms, 10 to 11 missed calls from dads, like 8,000 text messages from both parents, and then four text messages from your brother, and everyone's just freaking out, and finally you 
when the freaking movie's over, you turn your phone back on, because I'm one of those noobs that turn your phone off in the movie theater, you turn your phone on, and bam, your phone's dead because of all the things that happened. And then you have to use his phone to explain, no, this movie was actually three hours. So when I got home, he walked me to the front door, and I was like, I'm going to get my first kiss, because at this time, I hadn't been kissed. And so he's, he's like, I had a good time tonight. I was like, yeah, me too. And right when I was about to give him a hug, my dad opens the door, grabs me by the arm, throws me inside, and says, good night, and slams the door on said guy that I liked. And I just looked at him, I was like, what? And he's like, you, you said the movie lasted three hours. I'm like, it did. And he's like, I looked it up, and it was only two minutes, and, or two hours and 30 minutes. I was like, no, it was three hours. And so he looked at him, he's like, oh, okay. Well, you should have told me that before. And I was like, I did. So that was my first date. Don't experience that. It was not fun. At all. If someone doesn't like you for who you are, don't, don't even bother. Don't even bake them a cake if they tell you you can't. Because I know you can, and you know you can. You don't have to prove it to them. Because then you'll be let down after like six months of continuously liking them, and then they say to your face, no. And it hurts really bad. Don't do it, kids. So that was today's Ask Kate Tuesday. I know it was really short, but I kind of thought the dating thing took up most of it. So yeah, <laughs> stay tuned for Ask Kate Thursday, where there's going to be a whole lot more questions, I think, because hopefully I'll be a lot more well. Actually, no, I'm going to film Ask Kate Thursday in like three minutes. I say three minutes because I'm going to chug that water box. I'm getting healthy. Tom made fun of me for eating carrots. I'm healthy. I can be healthy if I want. I don't always eat Nutella, which that's kind of a lie, but I... I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to go. You guys have a great day, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.